And just at the start of the second half, it's still 9-7, Mayo leading as Ivan Heffernan kicks out for Mayo against the breeze this time. Matty Brennan for Sligo, sends him attacking. Seamus Riley getting there much faster than Mickey Curtins, who didn't even try to get to it there. Probably realised he wouldn't, but Mayo messing it up between them, and Frank Henry's there for Sligo. Nice bit of weaving by Frank Henry. TJ Furtar seems to have control, and then suddenly Des Curtins has it. Long ball across, Mickey Curtins is in there, so is Seamus Riley, and it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. It has to be a penalty for Sligo. Mick Curtin's there. Being brought down. And a penalty for Sligo. Dramatic start of the second half. We're not even two minutes into it yet. If this is converted, Sligo would be a point ahead. Mick Curtin's to take this penalty against Ivan Heffernan in the Mayo goal. And what a vital kick for Sligo and for Mick Curtin's this is. Gets the signal. And it's a goal. We're just over two minutes into the second half and Sligo have gone ahead. 1-7, that's ten points. To Mayo is nine. Very close marking, tense game this. Quite a few frees in it. No great continuity in play. Great kick from Kilbride. That's a monster. Or from Higgins. A monstrous kick. And a... Oh, against the breeze and everything. That's a great kick from Mick Higgins. After the foul on Sean Kilbride. Higgins steadying it up and has put them level again. Maybe another Mayo attack coming now, though. Jerry Fardar with it. That's a dangerous one. Willie McGee on it. And that one hitting the crossbar, but it's fisted over. It's fisted over by Des McGrath. Des McGrath. And some of the Sligo defenders claiming that it should have been a square ball. In fact, um, although it has gone up on the scoreboard, it hasn't, I think, been finalised yet. At the flag going up now, it is a point, yes. The referee checking with his umpires. The flag is up and it's on the scoreboard now. Mayo 12 points, Sligo 1-8. That's 12-11. Mayo still ahead, 13 points to 1-8, a chance for Sligo, it's Pat Tom Calirdi, free for Sligo, too many frees in this game really for any great continuity, looking for Mick Curtins, Curtins blocking it down there into the hands of Des Curtins, a great goal! Less than a minute to go of actual playing time, though the referee may allow a little extra time for the injury to Barnes Murphy and J.P. Kane is taking this kick. What tragedy there'd be for Sligo now if this ball finished in the back of the net. J.P. Keane lobbing it across. Is he looking for his point? He's looking for it and he's got it. There's only one between them. We're over the 35 minutes now as Barnes Murphy gets it. We're playing lost time. Sligo a point ahead. Des Kearns doesn't really mind whether he gets that or not. Time moving along. Seamus Riley to take the kick. Takes it now. And the game is over and Sligo won the Connacht Championship. Sligo have won the Connacht Championship for the first time since 1928, 47 years ago, and only their second ever. And look at those scenes of jubilation. So at long last, Mick Curtins, I can't see him, he's surrounded by well-wishers on the 50 yards line there in the Sligo, in the male half, you can just see his back, surrounded by well-wishers there. Mick Curtins at long last gets his Connacht Championship medal. And Mickey Curtins, we couldn't see him a moment ago, the crowd's around him, now he's shoulder high, surrounded by all his teammates, all the well-wishers on every unit in County Sligo, would just love to be there. Mickey Curtins at long, long last, getting that much-coveted Connacht Championship medal, and I think even Mayo people will not grudge it to him.